Have you found it? I speak of the Grail of Valhalla. I don't have any solid clues, but I did come across some strange writing that might be connected somehow. Huh? Writing, you say? And did you find this writing somewhere within the temple? Exactly. I copied some of the more interesting looking stuff. What do you think? Is there a chance that you can decode it? <laughs> of course I can. If, that is, I have the one and only copy of the legendary scriptures of the goddess Ekno. Well, let me get this straight. If I want to decipher these mystery glyphs, I need a legendary book. A book so rare that only one of them exists? Not all things that exist have physical form. The scriptures of which I speak are inside my mind. Do you understand? Give me a copy of the glyphs, and I shall translate them. I am, however, a capricious man, and I cannot guarantee I will speak the truth. Give me the writings you have, and I shall decipher them. What do they say? Born by wings of white, the Chosen One flies across Heaven's path to where the sacred vessel belongs. The word vessel here is almost certainly a reference to the Grail of Valhalla. Which means I need to find the Heaven's Path, right? Yes, it would appear so. I believe you have stumbled on a valuable clue. It looks like the others. I should keep searching. They might be clues to tracking down the Grail. just broken shards, but I'd better collect everything. I've got a nice collection of shards, but I'm no closer to the Grail. Maybe I should show these to the Professor and see what he thinks.
Yes, I believe you have succeeded at last. You have found the Grail of Valhalla. I have? All I found were these broken shards. Exactly! The shards scattered along Heaven's Path are themselves the remains of the Sacred Grail. All that remains now is for me to restore the treasure to what it once was. There, the Grail of Valhalla. Here it belongs to you. <sighs> Finally, I have achieved what I set out to do. My real objective was to find the true vessel. The true vessel? I understand now. The Grail of Valhalla is said to be filled with the divine grace of the goddess herself. But it is not a man-made object. It is a living thing. The person who has inherited the goddess's grace. You see now, don't you? Just as I am the safekeeper of the scriptures, the vessel that keeps the sacred wisdom safe. You, who can navigate Heaven's path, are the vessel that contains the Etro Benediction. You are the true grail of Valhalla. Thank you. You have shown me the truth. The truth that I devoted my life to finding.
A traveler? Well, this is a rare treat. This place is off the beaten track. Let me tell you something. This used to be the center of civilization. It might be hard to believe, but up until a few centuries ago, this land was home to the world's largest city. Yeah, a long time ago, right? Yeah, that's right. And then the chaos came and devoured everything. Soon after, I set up camp here with my colleagues to research the dark power that swept over this land. No one's been keeping track of how long we've been out here, but it's been a while. We've been preoccupied, buried in our work, though we've made little progress. That chocobo is the rumored angel of Valhalla, isn't he? The chocobo of legends. Now that I've seen him for myself, he does look rather regal. He's a lot more than regal. Oh, no offense. I know he's a creature of destiny, fated to lead his ordained master to the truth. So you know something about this legend? Of course. My team and I have been in this mysterious land for many years. We call this the Omega Point, the origin of the chaos that erupted and spread throughout the land over 500 years ago. It appears the source of the chaos is rumored to be hidden somewhere inside the Temple of the Goddess, out here in the Wildlands. We were sent out here to investigate the Omega Point, but because of the rocky terrain, there are still areas we haven't been able to reach. Unfortunately, the Goddess's Temple is one of them. But now that the Angel of Valhalla has decided to grace us with his presence, Exactly. With those wings, there's no doubt he can take you there. Many old remains have been discovered in this area. For example, do you see that over there? That's the wreckage of an airship that fell to the ground after getting sucked into the chaos. If only we could gather data from the wreckage, I'd be willing to bet it would be an enormous help to our research. It might help you solve the mystery of what happened back when the world first started to fall apart. Is that the idea? That's right. I can't promise we'll discover every last detail of what happened, but it would get us closer to the truth. Every piece of the puzzle is important. The more we learn, the closer we get to the real truth. If there's anything I can do to help, I'm in. I appreciate that. Here, I want you to take this with you. This device extracts data from objects. Go to the ruins of the airship and search for any kind of debris that might be relevant to our research. When you find something, all you need to do is activate it. Once the device reaches its capacity, the light will flash, letting you know it's full. Come back when you're done. I'll be waiting here. How many pieces of debris? It varies by location and situation, but I'd estimate that four would probably do the trick out here. If you have some room in your field, I'd like to use a patch. <sighs> Do as you will. So, how long does it take for vegetables to grow in this field? Hmm. I'd wager about half a day. You're Dr. Gazal's assistant, but who are you? Tilda. I'm a doctor around here. We have a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. So I was just consulting with the assistant here. He doesn't look happy. Is he injured? Something is wrong, that's for sure. We just found him. He's ever so weak. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor thing. But he'll be all right with a vet and a doctor looking after him. Right. This clever vet was just telling me about an effective medicine. That should help. I'm still just a trainee. Dr. Kazal is the clever one. I just run errands. But I'm going to help this little one get better. He'll stay with me for the first little while. Not that I know much about dogs. I usually treat people, obviously. All I need to do is have him drink the assistant's medicine. I can handle that. Good news for the dog. I'm sure he'll get better soon. Uh, he would, except... Except... Well, 
We're out of ingredients to make the medicine. Yeah, that's the problem, see? I could collect the ingredients for you. Yes, you could. I mean, it's not like you'd have to go to the ends of the world to find them, or anything like that. The assistant can give you a list of what we need. This girl? She's actually more clever than she lets on. Oh no, I'm not. I still hardly know anything at all. But I do know how to help the dog. He just needs the right medicine and he'll be fine. Okay then, tell me what you need. And I should give these to Tilda, right? Yes, please. Oh, thank you so much for helping out. Well, I've got to run. Dr. Gazal will be expecting me back at Canopus Farms.
me up. Do this. Your battle ends here. This could be one. <laughs> I 
hope there's still data inside. <laughs> Yule's flowers are still blooming here. What is it? Ah! Huh, is that right? You're feeling just like your old self again, are ya? I'm glad to hear it. He's made a complete recovery. Well done, Lightning. The Angel of Valhalla is fit and ready to fight again. It's all thanks to you. Dr. Ghazal had more to do with it than anyone. He's been learning about the Chocobo for more than a century. It's a good reminder of what people can do when they care enough and work together. Yes, if you say so. Qua, Qua.
Hmm, is this a downed airship? Originally, it was as though it's someone's home. I'm getting a signal. The indicator light is blinking. Looks like I got everything I need. Time to head back. Saz? Leave us alone. What are you doing here? Oh. Dosh? Is he asleep? Yeah. He's been like that for centuries. Silent as death. Ever since the chaos came and destroyed everything. His body's still alive, but his soul... It's not in there. What's that? It's a coffer of souls. If I can collect enough soul fragments, Dodge will wake up. At least that's what I was told. Yeah, it could just be a lie, though. Who gave it to you? Lumina. Enough talk. I, um, I gotta look after my son. Hope, you've gotta be able to find something about Dodge's condition. Saz is. I know, Lightning. I was listening to. I'll look into it. It's. My goodness me! If it isn't the savior, fancy meeting you here. Don't go acting all sweet and innocent, Lumina. I know it's no coincidence that you're here. Oh, so you think that I'm lurking around here, hiding poor little Daja's soul? Is that it? Something like that. Nope. Though you're right that it's no coincidence. I'm here because I've been keeping an eye on you. I'm just so worried about whether you'll be able to save Saz. Save Saz? What about Dodge? Whatever. You can save both, if you'd really like. But you must have noticed that dear daddy's soul is getting crushed, right, Savior? <laughs> Physically, he seems fine, but I detect no mental activity. Not even dreams. It's as if... It's as if he's in a coma. He's just not in there. I don't even know if the coffer of souls that Lumina gave Sa As... But poor Saz will do anything if it might bring Dodge back. Even searching for soul fragments. I want to do something to help, but I don't know where to start. I should have pushed Saz to tell me more, but... Odin, back me up! Fight will be on. 
honest. You're so eager to die. You die without regret.
I think I may have enough. Will this do? Excellent work. I'll analyze this information at once. Let's see here. This is rather unexpected. I've managed to detect what seems to be part of an audio file. Let's hear it. And that's where it ends. The pilot said he saw something impossible. What do you think that could be? I don't suppose it could be darkness of some sort. Perhaps it was the unseen chaos that supposedly sealed beneath Etro's temple. Who could he have meant by the woman? You don't suppose that could have been the goddess? That doesn't seem possible, but... The goddess? No, I don't think so. That would defy science. It was probably just the pilot seeing his wife's face flash before his eyes before he died. But what's that saying? Never say never. In order to produce a scientific explanation, we need to keep gathering more data. Still got a long way to go. Yes, but thanks to you, we're already a step closer. A little progress is better than no progress at all. I would say you're right. Things have been stagnant for a long, long time, as you know. That tiny bit of new information is an amazing discovery for researchers everywhere. You can't imagine the great gift you've given us all. Well, it wasn't all thanks to me. I couldn't have done it without this guy over here, the Angel of Valhalla. Thank you so much. All right, little dog. It's time to drink your medicine. This'll fix you up. Gosh, will you look at that? This stuff works fast. Claudia will be so pleased. Claudia? Who's that? Who's that? Why, Dr. Gazal's assistant, of course. You met her earlier. Oh, wait. You know her as 13, is that right? Ugh, that Dr. Gazal. I don't know why he can't be bothered to learn people's names. Claudia is a wonderful assistant. Well, quite good anyway, and she deserves more respect. And when she's not sure about something, she always checks with the other assistant. Well, anyway, the dog is safe and sound. If you happen to run into Claudia again, let her know for me, would you? Sure. Oh, and here, I've got some leftover medicine. You can have it. Maybe it'll come in handy. By the way, do you mind if I ask you a favor? What exactly do you want? I'm sorry to do this to you again, but I need more herbal ingredients. But this time, it's not for a dog. Someone in the camp is sick? They're not for me. Dr. Sheep over in Arias has been looking for certain ingredients for years. And I... I want to help him, if I can. You know each other? Not exactly, but I thought it would be a good way to introduce myself. I get the picture. You've admired him from afar, and you think this will get him to notice you. Go on. Tell me I'm wrong. No. I mean, you make it sound so underhanded. If you say so, short story is, you want to give the doctor a surprise present. Mm, might be fun. I'll help. You will? Thanks. It's just not something I could do on my own. Like you have a cute little admirer. I think she senses you saved her life. She's not scared of people. Maybe she was a pet. 
Yes, that could very well be the case. Usually the ones that live in the wild aren't so friendly. If she does belong to someone, then... What is it? I just remembered a woman that I met, out on the trail near Canopus Farms. She was upset and told me that she had lost her dog. Have you stopped by Canopus Farms already? Claudia will be there, near the doctor. You should tell her the good news. Excuse me, do you want something from me? Thanks. This will be the perfect way to introduce myself. I've dragged other people into helping me with this, so I can't back out of it now. I am going to visit Dr. Sheep right away. What's happening over at Canopus Farms? Mighty strange. Never heard of anything like that before. You running off to Luxarian? Ran off. More like it. I'm detecting large infusions of chaos in the area. They're all over Canopus Farms. Why would chaos suddenly appear across a single village like that? I have to check it out. Chocobocolina! So I hear you ran into old Sazzy again. How is he? Not great. Not great at all. He's so focused on this one thing, he can barely think about anything else. Well, he has a right to be. Dash has been asleep for centuries. You can tell, can't you, that I'm terribly worried about them too. I wish I could help, but he would never ever ask me to. And sadly, he'd never let me. I heard the reason Dodge can't wake up is because his soul has left his body. Is that true? It is. And not only that, it's been shattered into five fragments and scattered all over the world! That's what Saz is working so hard to collect, the fragments! So, when all five pieces are located, will he wake up? Yes, indeedy. Oh, you also need a coffer of souls, but I think Saz already has one. Lucky for you! The one and only way you can help him is to find all five fragments! What a wonderful present that would make! Thanks for telling me all this. I don't think I could have dragged this out of Saz. Not the way he is now. I'm just happy to be of help. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I've already found one of the fragments all by myself. It's the one called the Smile Fragment. I know it's something that Saz needs, but it's not really an item per se. So, I can't give it to you to give to him on my behalf. How do you propose you get it to him then? With this magically spectacular canvas of prayers. Take a look and you'll find what you need. Come on now, time's a wasting. just like we talked about. I thought you said it wasn't an item. And that's why you couldn't give it to Saz yourself, right? Kind of. It's something that's in my heart. Here, I'll take it out for you right now. Give me a second here. relieved it doesn't smell like anything. Thanks. I've got this now. No, thank you! I hope I've helped pay him back for everything he's done for me. Pay him back for what? Now would be as good a time as any to tell me who you really are. How do you know Saz and Daj? And just exactly how did you end up with one of Daj's soul fragments inside you? <laughs> That's still a secret for me to know and you to find out. Remember, once you have all five fragments, give them to Saz, okay? 
And of course, I'll be there to witness everything. I promise. Chocoboco later! I think that things are beginning to come into focus. Mr. Sass is looking for fragments of Dodge's soul. And one of the five fragments he's supposed to find is Dodge's smile. A smile, huh? I'd like to see both of them do that again someday. Yeah, I haven't seen Sass smile once since you met him here. Never mind smiling. He'll barely talk to you. I don't blame him. Not with Dodge the way he is. The Sass that I remember could laugh in the face of any disaster. The worse the situation, the more he'd joke about it. He was a great friend when you were in trouble. But he's different now. We all have our limits. I've reached his. He even lost his favorite chocobo chick. He doesn't have any more.